Hello friends, welcome to Brain Amplifier and in this video we'll discuss about three phase half wave diode rectifier. So let's begin. As we can see we have two diagrams in parallel. Well, one is showing the circuit diagram while the other is showing the waveforms. So we'll discuss both these. In the first diagram, in the circuit diagram, we have a transformer delta to star. We'll discuss it uh, after the transformer. So after the transformer, we have three diodes in three phases, diode D1, D2 and D3. I'll name my phases as A, B and C. And uh, the phase voltages, which is VAN, I'll call that VA. I'll call VBN as VB and I'll call VCN as VC. Fine. So far, so good. Now, as we can see in the waveform, the A part, we are having waves of all the three phases okay at some point of time one phase is having highest positive voltage while the other two phases are having lesser voltage for example from omega t equals to 30 degree to omega t equals to 150 degree the va the a phase is having highest positive voltage while the other two phases are having lesser voltage Similarly, for omega t equals to 150 degree to 270 de degree, where the VB is having the highest positive voltage, while the other two phases are having lesser voltage. And this is very significant. How? Let's see in the first diagram. Now, suppose at a moment of time, suppose we are at omega t equals to 90 degree. At omega t equals to 90 degree, my phase A is having highest positive voltage right when my phase a is having highest positive voltage that is va is more than vb as well as va is more than vc right my neutral voltage is zero volt okay i have assumed a neutral at zero volt fine so if uh, va is having highest positive voltage and the neutral is zero then my diode d1 will be in forward bias okay my diode d1 will be short shorted and at point p i am i'll be having the voltage va right so my diode d1 is in forward bias so far so good now if i am having voltage va at point p and if i look at diode d2 and diode d3 at the anode side of diode D2, I am having voltage VB, while at the cathode side of diode D2, I am having the voltage VA. Now, VA is more than VB. That means my cathode of diode D2 is more positive con compared to anode of diode D2. That means my diode D2 will go into reverse bias. Same goes with diode D3. <coughs> So, we can conclude here that from omega t equals to 30 degree to omega t equals to 150 degree, my diode D1 will be in forward bias while my diode D2 and D3 will be in reverse bias. But after that, we will go further at point omega t equals to 150 degree, my voltage of phase B will be will increase will keep on increasing and at omega t equals to 150 degree, it will be more than and further to omega t equals to 150 degree it will be more than voltage va so mm, the voltage at point p will be now vb that is my diode d2 will be in forward bias and vb is more than va as well as vb in is more than vc so my diodes d1 and d3 will be in reverse biased so we can conclude that only that diode will be conducting which is having highest positive voltage the other two diodes will be in reverse bias so as we can see in this graph the b part of this second diagram uh, there is time when omega t equals to 30 to omega t equals to 150 my diode d1 is conducting then diode d2 is conducting then diode d3 is con conducting my resultant waveform has been shown in this d part so you can see my voltage is fluctuating as well as my current is fluctuating my voltage is fluctuating between the maximum 
and the half of maximum that is VMP to 0.5 VMP the last diagram we were having three cathodes common so that was called common cathode arrangement in this diagram we have three anodes common so this is called common anode arrangement so this time I have flipped my diodes and I have named them D4, D5 and D6. This time the cathodes of diodes are connected to three phases A, B and C. Now at any point of time my diode will be in forward bias if its cathode is connected to more negative voltage compared to its anode. And at its anode we have connected neutral and neutral we are assuming at zero voltage. So, suppose at any point of time, suppose we are at omega t equals to 30 degree. So, as we can see in the waveform at omega t equals to 30 degree, my phase VB is having highest negative voltage. So, if my phase VB is having highest negative voltage, my diode D5 will be at highest uh, negative voltage connected at its cathode while it's anode it at zero volt so it will be in forward bias so if my diode d5 will be at forward bias the voltage at point q will be vb now my voltage vb is more negative at this point omega t equals to 30 degree compared to voltage va and vc so if I am having, if I see the diode D4 or diode D6, at diode D4 at its anode, I have connected more negative voltage compared to its cathode. So my diode D4 and D5 will go in reverse bias. So again, we can see here, my one diode is in forward bias while my other two diodes are in reverse bias. So as we can see in the graph from omega t equals to 0 to omega t equals to pi by 2, my diode D5 will conduct while from pi by 2 to further my diode D6 will conduct then my diode D4 will conduct. So we can see in the diagram D my final waveform and I have assumed omega t equal to 0 at uh, that is neutral voltage. Now we can see in the common cathode arrangement as well as in common anode arrangement in one cycle that is from omega t equals to 0 to omega t equals to 2 pi I am having three pulses so this arrangement is called three phase three pulse diode rectifier or three phase half wave diode rectifier 